right so welcome everyone welcome to yin tonight if you're just joining or if you're tuning in on the youtube all i ask for tonight is to have a folded blanket um as a prop or a towel donc une couverture pliée ou une serviette pliée and once you have your little pad created you can go ahead and sit on it for our beginning of our class so the winter solstice is tomorrow and winter solstice kind of brings a little bit of darkness and yin is about the dark because in the dark we find the light and then we embrace the light so tonight my class is all themed on winter solstice on va pratiquer juste des pauses pour nous aider à être présents puis à tranquillement voir quelle sorte de pensée qu'on a pour relâcher celle qui ne sert pas. So I won't be inviting you to have a certain type of intention tonight. All I want to do is be present in every single pose. From there, see what your thought patterns are. Whatever you need to get rid of, whatever you want to keep observing yourself. Go ahead and start in a seated position. I'll invite you to start in Sukhasana, so just legs crossed. I will begin with what's called Sufi's grind, breathing exercise to warm up the belly, warm up the hips, and warm up the breath before we go into our meditation. So Sufi's grind will be holding onto your thighs or kneecaps to be quite uh, nice to hold on to give you some leverage. And you're going to be turning your torso. So on the inhales, your torso will be coming to the front, and then on the exhales, be going to the back and you're just going to be turning around like this. Inhaling to the front, exhaling to the back. Inspirez quand vous venez vers l'avant, expirez vers l'arrière. So, big breaths, big circles, as big as you want. Start to create that heat, even though it's a nice cooling practice here. The heat we create right now is for our awareness. So, help us bring a ray here right now. And then go in the opposite direction, inhaling in front, exhaling when you come to the back. And slowly start making those circles just a tiny bit smaller until you find yourself right back in center spine nice and long and still your eyes closed you flip your palms up towards the sky tonight we're here to receive lower body heavy to the ozuka salon Bring your awareness to the top of your head. Feel that spot in the middle of your head. Maybe it's warmer. Maybe it's tickling. From the top of your head, work your way down your body, noticing areas that are maybe have tension, are active or tight. Start to loosen. Start to release. fingertips relaxing your shoulders any tension that you find in your face vers le bas du corps comme si vous pouvez relâcher adoucir les cuisses les hanches un tout petit peu plus and now shift your awareness up to your breath watch your breath observe your breath and témoignez votre souffle without changing anything just noticing right here right now 
how you're breathing. The solstice, the winter, long dark days can bring us into maybe some stagnation, fatigue, hibernation. And the sequence is gonna, well, it's designed to maybe help you find the light within. Even when it's dark, there's always opportunity there, always a little bit of light. In yin, we try to embrace that darkness a little bit. So when we do see the light, we understand its potential a lot more. Let's start maybe deepening your breath now. Inhales coming all the way up to the top. And then when you exhale out of the nose, making it a complete exhale all the way to the bottom, feel your belly clench. Repeat. Inspire jusqu'au top. Jusqu'à temps que vous n'avez plus de souffle. Et expirez jusqu'à la fin. Quand vous sentez le ventre, vous annonce qu'il n'y a plus de souffle. These breaths, what I like to call long, luxurious breaths, try to invite them. Make it a pattern, a partner of yours during your yin practice tonight. Let's do a few more rounds like that. Ce soir, on va être en train de travailler les méridiennes, les lignes du corps qui gouvernent notre foie, notre rein, pardon, puis la vessie. So tonight, working urinary bladder and kidney meridian lines. Hips, quads, front part of your body. These lines, these organs, directly related to the element of water. The first drop, winter solstice. Have a beautiful practice, everyone. Bonne pratique. Go ahead and slowly open your eyes and shift around in any way you want to or need to. We're going to start off in a butterfly pose, so you can still be seated up onto your little pad. Go ahead and bring the feet together as you open your knees up. Create a little bit more of a diamond shape, comme la forme d'un losange. And sitting up onto your blanket, imagine your pelvis as a big bowl, full of water or soup, whatever you want. You don't want your bowl to be tipping forward or back. You want your bowl nice and centered and leveled. The blanket is there to help you feel that leveled and centered. Let your bum sink into the blanket or prop let your knees fall out. Let's inhale right here. And exhale, start to spider crawl your fingers forward. Marcher les doigts vers l'avant. Let's take the first part of this pose here to move around. Almost like you want to zigzag your spine. Crawl your fingers around, undulate your spine, move around. Bouger les doigts un petit peu, les zigzags, monter le haut vers le bas. Un petit peu de liberté dans vos mouvements. Don't need to look a certain way, don't need to be a certain way. I just want you to breathe and move right now before we come into stillness. Make your way slowly to center. Let's do the next few breaths here. Undulating inhale, lifting the heart of it. Exhale, folding forward. 
few rounds like that of your luxurious breaths all the way to the top on an inhale opening up the heart and then exhale folding forward Go ahead and come into stillness. Pensez à ralentir vos mouvements. Relâchez la tête. Let your head go. If that doesn't make you dizzy, you can hold it up. But if it, if you can let it hang heavy, go for it. Let it hang heavy. And you might start getting little sensations, feeling your body opening up. And just like you did in your meditation, work your way down and loosen where you can loosen, soften where you can soften. such an introspective practice we spend quite a bit of time in each pose holding them it kind of forces us to get intimate with ourselves to notice are we almost done this is taking forever when's the next pose various thoughts that we can get repeated over and over that sometimes in our vinyasa practice can be easily ignored. Come back to your luxurious breathing, nice long inhale. Full exhale all the way to empty, let your head hang and let go. Peu que vous vous sentez un tout petit peu plus relax. Normal, cette pause ici, c'est beaucoup faite pour calmer les peurs, calmer l'anxiété. We're getting into the kidneys right now, calming fear, calming anxiety. It's soft and breathe deep. About halfway there, if you want to crawl your fingers a bit further, maybe take a nice long inhale. And then on your exhale, see if you can soften the knees a little bit more towards the ground. And if they move perfect, and if they move only in your mind and imagination, that's perfect too.
And with the help of your hands, you're gonna walk yourself up. Take it slow, press your hands into the ground so your back does no work. Pressez vos mains dans le sol, puis redressez-vous tranquillement. Once you're sitting upright, give yourself a few breaths. Letting the blood flow come back down. And your hands on the outside of each one of your knees, close the knees up. Feet out onto the floor. And tonight I'm going to give you options in between poses. Our transitions are going to be important. They're part of how we move. I'll give you the option after poses to move around in any way that you like. Good one to do after butterfly is windshield wipers. Or maybe you want to stay still. It could be different after every pose. It could be the same. I don't think about it too much. Just do the first thing that comes to mind. into stillness and we'll come into our next pose still sitting onto your little pad we'll come into dragonfly which is a wide-legged seat so feet about a 10 and 2 if you look and you notice that your feet are flopping out it's just your bones your anatomy telling you that you may be a little bit too wide so just go ahead and walk the feet in a little bit closer legs closer this is too much for you you come in this option Perfect, rest ici. Option two, heels on the ground, legs a little bit bent. Option three, feet on the ground, legs bent. Either way, you're getting into your groin, getting into your hips. Vous voulez choisir l'option qui est la meilleure pour vous, qui vous fait pas de mal. Especially in this pose. If there's pinching, it's not what you want. So go ahead and get comfortable. Hands on either side of your hips, sit up nice and tall. Maybe bring the toe, big toes towards the inside a little bit. Start creating that internal rotation and reach your arms forward like you're holding a yoga block. Shoulders soft, chest lifted. Let's take a nice inhale here. And exhale out of your mouth. Inhale, turn towards your left leg. And exhale, drop the left hand on the inside or on top of your left leg. On the inhale, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, drop the right shoulder. Take a little bit of time here, just in this first part, just to open up. Option here to bring the right hand behind the head or to reach towards your left foot and you can do it in style, you rest your elbow on your head and get that nice opening on the right side. Always take that beginning part of your pose here to maybe undulate your spine as you breathe. Move around till you find that nice comfortable position, that edge. Are you feeling the stretch? But you're not pushing pulling it's just perfect darkness to light, oftentimes that just represents change. And this pose is exactly what it's related to. Dragonfly, wide-legged forward fold, symbolizes change, self-realization. A little bit more of maturity and understanding that your past made you who you are today.
So five more breaths. Five of those luxurious breaths. Head and let your right hand meet your left and walk yourself back to center. And then from center, press your hands into the ground. Once again, walk yourself back up. Put the hands to the back. Take a second or two right here at neutral. vos bras vers le centre comme si vous attrapez un bloc. Une twist vers la jambe droite. La main droite à l'intérieur ou sur la jambe droite. Inspirez, soulevez le bras gauche. Lift that left arm up on an inhale. Puis expirez, relaxez dans la pose. Try to find the best way that you can be comfortable but also find that edge, that little bit of a stretch. Mm, toujours l'option de rester ici avec le bras vers le haut si c'est plus confortable. Sinon, placer la main en arrière de la tête ou allonger le bras vers le pied droit. Vous pouvez laisser le coude ou l'intérieur du coude sur la tête. Relâchez la langue, la mâchoire. Soften the muscles of your face. Cette pose ici, la pose de euh, la libelle. One of the challenging, one of the most challenging poses in yin, I find. This is one of those when you're in a, maybe a hatha or vinyasa that you don't hold so long. But when you come into it for a longer period of time without moving, you get a little bit of thoughts coming up, maybe legs shaking, can't wait to get out of the pose, more heat. That's what I feel in this pose. Slow that down by exhaling really, really slow. Expirez par la bouche, relâchez la tension si vous la sentez monter. La main gauche, rejoins la main droite. 
Puis ramenez-vous vers le centre. Bring your hands together and walk yourself back to center. Ouf. Pressez les mains dans le sol, puis redressez-vous. Walk yourself back up nice and slow. Flip the palms towards the back, fingertips towards the back. Puff your chest up and take a nice long inhale. And let it go out of your mouth. Exhale. With the help of your hands behind your knees, go ahead and bend your legs, place the feet on the floor. Encore une fois, l'option de bouger ou pas. And if you want to move, windshield wiper. Once again, those are the ones that you want to do after a hip kind of pose like that. Notice the rebound effect after this pose. Where are you feeling it? Is it your groin or your hips? Somewhere a little bit more random, maybe. Side of your back or neck. All right, let's get ready for the next pose. <clears throat> we'll be coming into frog. So for this pose, you may want to be on the longer part of your mat or you can open up your blanket and bring come on to there i'll meet you on the wide part of your mat like le côté long de votre tapis sitting on your heels knees wide like you were in a child's pose this may be perfectly enough as a stretch for you with your hands reaching forward. We've opened up the hips a little bit. So if you're ready to come into frog, this is our last really intense hip one. Come into frog, you'll lift the heels, the bum off of the heels, and then open the feet up so that you're, you can slide your knees out a little bit more. If you look, your ankles are under your knees and your knees are in line with your hips. Let's start with our hands on the floor. And this pose, the sensation is from moving the hips back. So let's all inhale, press the hands into the ground. And exhale, move the hips back a little bit. Oof, you'll probably feel it. And stay in that nice juicy spot and just move like that. Inhale, pressing the hands into the ground. Exhale, Lightly, tiny bit, moving the hips back. A tout petit peu d'activation au niveau du ventre. Little bit of navel towards spine, just so you protect that low back. And then option to, to stay right here on your hands. That could be perfectly enough for you. Or bring yourself onto your elbows. And then when you bring yourself onto your elbows, just do that little breath work again, inhaling to press the elbows into the ground and exhale, making sure that you move the hips back a bit, starting to open up the groin. You can come all the way to the ground, go for it. Stay where you can breathe fully. Encore une fois dans cette pause ici, une pause qui vient directement toucher les reins. Encore une fois, on cherche à calmer l'anxiété, à calmer la peur. Right, so we're coming into the kidneys again. So we're always looking at the beginning of our practice to really get rid of fear and anxiety. And if this stuff is, the mental stuff doesn't really talk to you, you're getting rid of fear, anxiety, or tension in your muscles, in your fascia. And so when we come to opening up, as we move on, it becomes a little bit easier to us. Ici, on cherche à, bon, ça représente à retrouver la lumière à l'intérieur de soi. Nous honorer nous-mêmes. 
honor yourself wherever you are in this pose, head on the ground, on your hands, or in a child's pose. It's perfect. Deep breaths. Notice if you feel your shoulders creeping up towards your ears, relax them back down. And with your eyes maybe closed, start to really pay attention, bring all of your awareness to those areas where you're truly feeling the opening, calling out to you. And with your awareness there, can you soften? Can your breath kind of slow down that tension? we're almost done right here in this pose notice if you're feeling maybe as much tension as the beginning if you were able to kind of relax and release and if not let go of something maybe let go of the idea of can't wait to get out of the pose or let go of the idea that it's really stretching or you feel tight. Come out of it if you're in too deep. Let's meet if you're down onto the ground. Si vous au sol, remontez sur vos mains. Walk your hands a little bit forward and you're going to bring one knee in at a time to be in a tabletop. Take your time. Ooh. Stay still, or if you're looking to move, hip rolls will feel great after this. You can roll your hips from right to left, move around in your tabletop. And then go in the opposite direction if you're moving. If you roll the hips one way, make sure you roll them the other way. Slowly kind of bring yourself into a tabletop. 
and sit back down on your heels so you're in seiza. Hands rest on your thighs and give yourself a few breaths right here. Maybe the hips feel like jello. Maybe they're tingling. Before we go on to our next pose, we'll do a little bit of pranayama, give our hips a moment to settle in and work on our breath. And we'll be doing the breath of fire, kapalabhati. We'll do two rounds of 60. If you're on your moon cycle, if you're pregnant, we'll just do really deep breathing. And if not, we'll start with an inhale through the nose and it'll be a forceful exhale out of the mouth like you're maybe blowing out candles. It sounds, it looks like this. And your belly snaps in on its own. You just try to keep the shoulders soft and the head soft, just the belly moving out and in. And I'll count us down when there's a few left and you just keep going. So close your eyes. You can have your hands on your belly or not. Do a nice inhale and let it go out of your mouth. <sighs> inhale for breath of fire and let's begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, long inhale. Now hold your inhale at the top and bring everything up and in. Navel up and in, sex groins up and in, anus up and in, everything hold, harness. And let it go out of your mouth. <sighs> Round two, deuxième fois, inspirez. Puis on commence. Cinq, quatre. 3, 2, 1, longue inspiration. Au top ici, retenez votre souffle, hold it in. Rentrez tout vers le haut, vers l'intérieur, le nombril, les organes sexuels. Retenez, hold it. Ouvrez la bouche, expirez, let it go. With your eyes closed, just follow your breath in and out of your nose. Great exercise to get rid of stale air at the bottom of our lungs, but also to help us release, purify, let go of what we don't need and wake up that internal light. A few breaths. You'll come back to sitting on your mat, maybe it's facing towards the front or back. We're gonna come into saddle pose. There are two options for saddle pose. Option one is opening up the heels, knees together, and sitting between your heels. If you have any knee issues, knee pain, or feel something sharp in your knees when you sit this way, there's another option. It'll be big toes together, sitting on your heels. And if ever sitting like this or the other way, you feel like your bum or your pelvis, your big bowl is coming forward or back, go ahead and fold up your blanket and sit onto your blanket to help you give some height. I'll be doing this version here, sitting in between my heels 
And when you're sitting in between uh, your heels, try to have the feet closer towards your hips. In this pose, we're trying to keep the knees on the ground. And I say, regardez les genoux au sol, peu importe la version que tu avais choisi. Les genoux séparés ou les genoux ensemble. Go ahead and bring your hands right behind you on either side of your hips or behind your hips. And you're going to lift your bum up and bring your tailbone towards your knees, almost like you were doing a little bit of a cow spine, and sit back down. And by doing that, you're making your bowl, pelvis bowl, a little bit straighter so we can lean back. Coming in to stretch that whole frontal part of our body, the quads, the stomach, and the heart area. So go ahead and start leaning back, bend your elbows. The idea here is to, to feel that nice stretch in the front part of your quads, not to be flat on your back, but if you can go there, perfect. Taking your time, inhaling to lift the heart, and then exhaling to bend the elbows and to see if you want to go a little bit deeper. And if you do, you can maybe have your elbows on the ground. Try to soften your thighs and quads. À tout moment, si vous sentez un pincement, any pinching in the low back, bring yourself up. Redressez-vous. We keep your eyes on your belly here and watch your belly swell and unswell as you breathe. Or inflate and deflate. And here we're working both of those meridian lines both the urinary bladder, both the kidney. And when we work meridians, we're just helping our body regulate those organs. Help them function a tiny bit better. And on your exhales, I invite you to ground your body. We've come to a point in our practice now where we are opening up. We've got rid of, or we've opened up or released a little bit of tension and fear in our hips. And now we're looking to open up, receiving the support that we need, trusting what's on the inside. I often say to do the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to movement. Always trust yourself because you do know what you want. It's nice to ask around. It's nice to get opinions. That's the beauty of the in practice. It's just you, your body, your thoughts, like in meditation. We slowly discover what we want like. To take a deeper back bend if you wish and to open up the throat, take an inhale. And if you want on the exhale, you're gonna Lift your chin up towards the sky and open your throat. If that's comfortable. Utilisez vos expirations pour enraciner votre corps. when you're done having your head back just bring your chin in to your chest but if you're good and that's where you want to stay go for it helps with the thyroid
So one more minute in the pose here, if you wanna try maybe going a little bit deeper, maybe lift your pelvis first, bring it towards your knees and come down a little bit more if there's room. all the way down could feel good to lift the arms up above the head pose if you're all the way down you're going to grab onto your feet prop yourself up on your elbows first si vous aviez la tête vers l'arrière ramenez le menton vers la poitrine hands into the ground and try to press yourself up as a straight spine take a breath or two avec le dos neutre ici Out of this pose, you're just gonna walk your hands forward and come into a tabletop and stretch your legs back. Allongez les jambes une à la fois. Peut-être un petit down dog, maybe down dog will feel good after this pose. So go ahead and move around with what, how you need. Legs may be asleep. Let's bring a little bit of movement into them. you're in down dog bring yourself into tabletop and then bring yourself into a seat you can be sitting in seiza give my heels a break and i'm going to sit in sukhasana so you can sit and cross-legged once you get comfortable just go ahead and move around with the way you need feel your lower body ground and your upper body grow tall One more breathing exercise before we hit the ground. We'll do some Nodi Shodana. So we did Kapalabhati breathing, breath of fire to kind of detox, get rid of what we didn't need. Now we'll do Nodi Shodana to clear our mind and be aware and be right here right now. So for Nodi Shodana, you're going to bring both of your indexes onto the sides of your nose little bit underneath the cartilage. Let's block the right nostril. Inhale through the left. Block the left and exhale through the right. Block the right and repeat. Inhale left. Block the left and exhale right. and repeat for three more rounds. Inhaling through the left and exhaling through the right. You can release both nostrils, but leave your fingers on the side of your nose. On va y aller de l'autre côté. 
Donc cette fois-ci, vous bloquez la narine gauche, block the left. Inspirez pour la, par la droite. Bloquez la droite, expirez gauche. Puis répétez. Block the left, inhale right. Block the right, exhale left. Répétez trois fois, three times. Trying to have long breaths. Fini, déposez les mains sur les cuisses. And sit the thighs when you're done and follow a few of your breaths. Totally focused with how you're breathing. Open up the eyes nice and slow. And you're gonna make your way to the ground. So you'll be using your pad. So the pad, you're gonna be want the knee to fold to be towards your head. And when you're gonna come to lie down on your, sorry, have it a little bit towards the middle of your mat, less towards the higher part. And you're gonna come lie down on it. And when you lie down on it, you're gonna lie down your shoulders on it, but there's two inches of blanket about above your shoulders. Okay, so when you come to lie down, we'll be in constructive rest, so knees bent. Lie down on your blanket. Head is on the mat. Shoulders are on the blanket with two inches of blanket above your shoulders, so there's a little bit of space. Donc, allongez-vous sur votre couverture. Les épaules sur la couverture, la tête au sol. Mais si vous regardez vos épaules, il y a à peu près deux pouces, quelques centimètres de couverture par-dessus les épaules. This will be useful for our next pose. So I'll give you the time to get into that and adjust how you need. And I'll meet you in constructive rest with your feet as wide as your mat, your knees knocking in towards one another. And we're going to add some arms today for constructive rest. You're going to cross your right arm over the left like you're hugging yourself. Chin into chest. Let your back body get heavy. I'm taking some deep breaths right here. Feeling how nice it is to have the ground do all of the work. Let go. Switch your arms, change les bras, left over right, bras gauche par dessus la droite. And now with your eyes closed, I want you to start releasing tension in your face. Start making a funny face. Open your mouth really wide, stick out your tongue, move your jaw from side to side, let out a yawn, scrunch your face, stretch your eyes. So, commencez à faire un petit peu des grimaces avec le visage, ouvrez la bouche grande, bougez la mâchoire pour relâcher de la tension, not only in your face, but also in your neck. So go ahead and do that for a little while, releasing tension, sticking out your tongue, letting a yawn come out. And when you feel satisfied, just come back to a neutral face and feel your face the muscles behind your cheeks and your eyes, totally relaxed, soft. Mm. 
And go ahead, release your arms on either side of your body, opening your legs up and your feet so they're about hip width apart. Now we're gonna come into snail pose, which I rare that I teach, but this one's so great to really understanding yourself because it's a funky way to place your body. It's almost like shoulder stand, but the inside. Understanding what kind of support you need and understanding what your limits are. So to come into snail, hands on either side of your body, palms onto the ground. Go ahead and lift your legs and feet up off the ground. Press the hands and feet into the ground and lift the legs up into the air as if you were gonna come into your shoulder stand. You can bend the elbows and place the hands on the lower back. And now you'll see that you're totally supported by the blanket, which is why we use that. Your cervical spine is protected. If you feel like kink in your neck or if you have any cervical issues, let's skip this pose and just do constructive rest. And for snail, you're going to start bending the legs towards your maybe chest or towards your ears. And you can extend the arms down onto the ground. Try to not move your head. Legs are going to be heavy. Maybe your toes touch the ground behind you. Maybe they don't. Maybe they float just like me. Try to get the knees to come in towards your ears. Don't lift your head. Don't move your head. Here, your breath may be a little bit constricted. But if you can't breathe at all, then come out of it a little bit. A great pose to physically massage your organs and drains your lungs, switches the blood flow. And here, one of our last poses, snail, is for us to understand that whatever our past is, it's made us who we are today. We've grown into the people that we are because of our past. So no regrets. We move forward. A few more breaths. You can come out of this pose whenever you want, whenever you'd have enough. We have about another little minute here. But if you've had enough and you're ready to come out, you'll be pressing your arms and hands into the ground, knees into chest. Place one foot on the ground at a time. And then you can do constructive rest or extend your legs. out of the pose, hands onto the ground, knees into chest, chin towards your chest, keep it slow. When your back hits the ground, bring your feet down onto the ground, constructive rest. Go ahead and open your feet up as wide as your mat, let your knees knock in towards one another and oof, feel that effect.
you need a little bit more time, constructive rest, and stay here. I'll move this on to the next pose and you can leave your blanket here, but if it's bothering you, you can move it. But I'll meet you lying down on the right side, head into your hands. And left hand in front of your body. And you're gonna go ahead and extend the left leg forward. You can have a bend in your knee. If you're against the wall, push your foot against the wall. And flex your toes to feel that stretch behind your left thigh. Stay here or come into cat pulling its tail. You're gonna bend the right leg. So heel towards your bum. If you can grab onto your foot or ankle, that's cool. And if you can't, don't hold on to anything. Just have your leg bent. Not obligatoire. And settle in right here. This is option one. And if you feel good right here, stay here. If you want to come into a little bit of a deeper version of this, you're going to go ahead and release your head or your back onto the ground, onto your blanket. And the idea here is to melt your left shoulder towards the ground, almost like you wanna make a plus sign with your body. Right hand can be extended. A little bit of a different way of coming into a twist. Still stretching the quads, so still getting into your urinary bladder and your kidneys. And by pressing the back of your head into the ground, you can help scoot that left shoulder down. And if it doesn't go down, then perfect, leave it the way it is. twists often in yoga we like we say that twists you know they help with detoxing and they do but they do another thing that's equally as important if not more twists are to change your perspective so we end with a twist we end to change our perspective and to feel all the different sides of ourselves Use your exhales to find a deeper twist. You're gonna let go of that right leg so it swings to the bottom of your mat. Let that left leg swing to the bottom too like the pendulum and then bring yourself onto your back and give yourself a few breaths. And we'll come to the other side. You can just turn over. I'll come to a different side of my mat so you can see me but you're lying on your left side. So voici allongé sur le côté gauche. Le coude au sol, la tête dans les mains. Et la jambe droite, vous allez allonger vers l'avant. So extend your right leg forward. Fléchissez les orteils pour vraiment venir chercher l'étirement à l'arrière de la cuisse. Et puis pliez la jambe gauche pour ramener le talon vers le fessier gauche. Peut-être vous attrapez le pied, peut-être que non. Remember, you don't need to grab the foot, but if it's there and you want to grab it. Puis dans votre propre temps, 
pouvez rester ici ou descendre dans votre twist un petit peu plus profond. Non, non. Descendez les épaules au sol. You're melting your right shoulder to the ground if you're coming into the full twist. Today I'm feeling a little bit sensitive. I'm gonna take it a little less, a little more chill. On est rendu à la fin de la pratique. Peut-être vos respirations sont un peu plus lentes, mais n'oubliez pas les respirations profondes et complètes. The luxurious breathing, come back to it. Puis relâchez la jambe gauche au sol vers le bas. Release your left leg down. La jambe droite. Rejoignez la jambe gauche. And then roll over onto your back. And being on your back, I'll give you the option. You can end with a apanasana, knees into chest, or maybe a happy baby. So either or, either knees into chest or lift your feet up and end with a happy baby, pulling the knees down, pushing the feet up, flattening the spine onto the ground. You're a happy baby, bring the knees together. And give yourself one last squeeze. Take a nice long inhale here. And exhale, release into Shavasana. And get comfortable, maybe use your blanket on top of you. Maybe use it as a pillow above your head. Whatever you need. Push into your feet, readjust your hips. Pressez dans la tête pour réajuster vos épaules, puis commencez à relaxer chaque partie de votre corps. Scan your body from top to bottom. Release every muscle that you can. Relax your eyes and jaw. Shoulders, hips and toes. Just relax. And we spend time with ourselves. We get to know ourselves. Even that stuff we want to ignore, we come to acknowledge it. We come to acknowledge our dark side in order to heal our wounds, release old thought patterns, start to feel aligned with our intentions, whatever they may be. And how do you start feeling aligned with what you want as an intention, how do you come towards your light? Start to decide what's important and valuable, what habits we would like and what we want to achieve. Clean our space by getting rid 
or what we need to let go of or leave behind to make room for our new. Finding the support to maintain that. Right now, just let go and relax. And let all this stuff happen naturally as you rest in your final meditation right here. If you need to, if you want to stay a little bit longer, stay right here. If you're ready to come out, you're just going to turn over onto your right side in a fetal position. Keep your movement soft and slow, eyes closed. With the help of one of your hands, press yourself up. Bring yourself into a seat. Try to keep your eyes closed, maybe hands towards your heart. And maybe now you start understanding what you need to let go of and what you want to bring as light. A few breaths. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight or clicking and watching the video. I thank you always for being here and practicing. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful holiday. Tupac said it, tomorrow comes after the dark. Namaste everyone. Merci, namaste.